Okay, you wanna learn how to mix grout? Well, here we go, I'm gonna show you. What we're using right now is this unsanded grout from MapEye and it's uh, in particular the warm gray color. On most grout you'll find instructions and here there's a little diagram showing what you need to do in the steps. So um, we're gonna follow the instructions just because I want to make sure that the grout gets mixed properly and, and installed properly. And also typically there is a coverage table it will tell you how much grout you need to cover the area that you're trying to grow. In this case, this is our tile. It's about three inches by 12 inches, but they don't have anything on the chart for this. So I'm gonna to go to three by six, which will you be using more grout. So if I meet the three by six inch requirements, then I'll most likely meet the three by 12 inch requirements. So for a three by six, if we're going with eighth inch spacing, one bag will cover 100 square feet. Okay, so in most cases, the instructions will tell you how much water to use for the full bag. Well, in a lot of cases, you don't need the whole bag. And right now, I don't want to manage grouting a whole bag's worth in one shot. So I'm going to split this up. But for one bag, it says you need 48 to 54 ounces. So how many ounces are in here? Well, it gives you the amount in kilograms or, or pounds. So for 10 pounds, which is a, you know, which is a weight, you need 48 to 54 ounces of water, which is a volume. So what I did was I figured out and I measured that in one of these bags, there's approximately 150 ounces of powder. And so for 150 ounces of powder in one of these bags, they say to use about 50 ounces of water. So that's about a three to one ratio. So what I'm gonna do is start out with that three to one ratio, maybe a little light on the water and add some as needed. So the first thing I like to do with the grout, because you don't know how it looks, is you want to you want to shake up the grout, mix it up real good because there's color in this. You want to get the color evenly distributed. There's a warning on this, and it says this product contains silica, which is possibly cancer causing, according to California. So to be safe, you can wear a respirator or a mask to keep the silica out of your lungs. Sometimes it's a little clumpy, so what I'm gonna do is I'll grab a drill, if the drill is dry, and I'll mix it in, or mix it in with some sort of, just to make sure all the clumps break up, which these are breaking up pretty easily. Okay, so usually what I like to have is one bucket of clean water, which I have a measuring cup in for, for the wet, and then I have a bucket of the dry with its own measuring cup. I'm gonna be going with, to a, with a three to one ratio. So in this clean bucket, I'm gonna be putting just like a quarter inch of water on the bottom. And what this will do is help prevent some of this powder from sticking to the corners when I mix it. So next step is now they have a little bit of water in. I'm gonna put in I don't want to put in all my water. You see, I'm saving some in here. I, what I don't want to do is get it too loose to start with. They want to mix this, is mix it at low RPM. It'll introduce less air to the mixture, less bubbles. All right, you can see it's gonna be dry already. So I'm gonna add a few more ounces. See what happens. You want to add the water slowly because what you don't want to have happen is, is, is go beyond the, the mixture that you're desiring and have to add more powder later. So add water slowly as necessary. So it's still a little dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just another ounce of water. Once you get to this point, what you want to do is pull out your, your mixer for a minute and then use a trowel scrape around the edges. This will really mix the edges that the that your mixer can't quite get to. And so once you get the edges cleaned and mixed into the rest, you go ahead and mix again. This is still a little bit on the thick side, so I'm going to add another ounce of water. And what the instructions say to 
is to mix it for three to five minutes. All right, now we're about three minutes in. I'm gonna do the same thing again here, is take my trowel. It's feeling real nice now. This is, this is the consistency you want right there. You see that? Want to see it? It'll hold to the trowel. It'll stick to it. You want it sticky. You don't want it falling off your trowel. If it falls off the trowel because it's too loose, then you've gone too far with the water. I've got this all mixed up. Now the instructions say, let this sit for five minutes. After five minutes, we'll go back and we'll, we'll mix it one more time with the uh, hand trowel. So what I do, when I'm done with this, for now, spin it up in here. I'll spin it in reverse. Forward again. Get the water off, just leave it here. If, if your mixer has a lot of water on it, even an ounce or two, it'll really mess up your, you, can, you saw what happened when I added an ounce at a time, it'll really mess up your ratio. So what I like to do is, I like to mix with a dry mixer. All right, so we're gonna wait another four minutes and then hand mix this. Okay, you can see what I have to do here is tile all this floor behind me. So uh, we're in here ready to go. It's been about five minutes. So what I'm gonna do is do a hand mix. I wanna hand mix this for one to two minutes. You can see the consistency again. how it holds up. It's gonna spread nice and smooth. But depending on your conditions, this can last um, up to 45 minutes. It's ready, so what I'll do now is I'll just start putting it on the floor and, and uh, working my way out of the room. All right, well that's the end of the video for how to mix grouts. Hope it helped you and hope you learned something. If you have any more questions, feel free to email me in the comments section below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos on problem solving and DIY projects, then why don't you follow me and subscribe. All right, we'll catch you next time.